Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another video. In this video, inshallah, we're going to be unboxing or doing the experiment from the box called Taming Rain Acid. <laughs> this will be an interesting one, so let's get right into it. Our first experiment will be the foxtail gas and now we will just start the experiment and get our things prepared. We're gonna have to prepare in advance a kettle or I assume hot water. So let's start with the starter kit. We'll get the glass flask, safety glasses, plastic tray, a rubber stopper, rubber stopper with one hole, and last but not least, the glass beaker. Now that the starter kit is out of the way, we're going to take some stuff from the actual set. I'll take the bottle nose and the silicone tube, a double-ended measuring spoon, thermochromic sticker, a wooden splint, some gloves, a pin opener, now I will take some chemicals. I'll take some calcium nitrate, copper powder, sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen sulfate, and last but not least, activated carbon, or also known as charcoal. I will open the windows because we need to perform this in a well-ventilated area. Let me put on my gloves. Okay, so my first step is to measure three big spoonsfuls of sodium carbonate into a plastic disposable cup. One, two, and three. Next, I will take the bottle nozzle and tubing from the plastic bag, and I will insert the tubing inside of the rubber stopper with one hole leaving around 10 centimeters. Is that 10 centimeters? That, that should be 10 centimeters. And now I will close the dry flask with the stopper. Next step is to pour some calcium nitrate and sodium hydrogen sulfate into the copper solution. So I will open the, the copper, I will get our calcium nitrate and the sodium hydrogen sulfate, and I will pour one bot, I will pour the calcium nitrate into the copper, bismillah, and the sodium hydrogen sulfate, bismillah. I will stir it with the wooden stick for 10 seconds. Oh, oh, oh here it is, one, that should do it. And now I will secure this copper with the nozzle and I will insert the nozzle into the tubing, just like this. For the next step, we'll need to add some hot water. So while my hot water is boiling, I will apply the thermal sticker onto this beaker, just like that. Now that my hot water is done boiling, I'll fill it to the 100 milliliter mark. And now I'll put the bottle in the hot water. Yalla bismillah. Just like this. And now we'll let it sit for 10 minutes. Gas molecules like nitrogen dioxide don't just fly around. They can stick to surfaces too. In fact, they prefer sitting on something to floating in the air. The inner surface of the flask, however, can only accommodate so many molecules. There aren't just enough free seats for everyone. To make room for all the molecules in the flask, you'd need a surface greater than the area of a basketball field. And there's no way to fit something like that inside the flask. Or is there? Okay, I'm back. It has been 10 minutes. And now, I'll take the bottle out of the hot water. Now we'll remove the nozzle. I don't want to inhale this, I think. Oh, I think I just smelled some of it. But we're gonna have to set this upside down. But I'll just set it upside down. I'll put this aside because it's scary. I'm supposed to set it upside down inside of the sodium carbonate. And I have to dispose of them immediately. Ah! Okay, now that I got rid of that, I'll open the bottle of charcoal. Activated charcoal. And I will prepare the rubber stopper with no holes. And now I must not inhale this. Okay? I will just remove this rubber stopper and pour all of the charcoal in it. And I will close it tightly with the rubber stopper and I will hold it securely in place and shake the flask vigorously for 20 seconds. Time's up and look at that. The charcoal absorbed all of the gas. It's now clear, isn't that amazing? And I will explain what happened there as it turns out. You can fit an enormous surface area on small objects by equipping them with teeny tiny holes and burrows. Activated carbon has a tremendous number of holes. The carbon you poured into the flask has more than three basketball fields worth of surface area. 
Nitrogen dioxide is one of the many potent air pollutants. Activated carbon, meanwhile, is used to clean industrial exhaust gases to make them less harmful to the environment. And that was it for this experiment. This experiment was pretty fun and pretty fascinating to see. Alhamdulillah. That's it for this video also. I'll catch you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.